Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be discussing class 9th English Beehive book Prose to the Sound of Music Part 1. Evelyn Glenn listens to the sound without hearing it. Question answers. This has been written by Deborah Cowley. Before I start discussing question answers, I would like to recapitulate the points which I had discussed. Evelyn Glenn, a 17 year old girl waiting on the platform. She is a Scottish girl who is leaving Scotland and going to London to take admission in Royal Academy of Music. She feels the vibration of trains coming into her body. And the points which have been told that at the age of eight, her deafness was observed first. She was not deaf since her childhood. Her deafness was yeah. gradual. At the age it was observed for the first time, she tried to conceal it from her friends and teachers. But at the age of 11, it was confirmed by a specialist that she is a deaf and she needs a special school. Everything turned black before her. Because it was a shocking news for her. So, everybody could not understand her. Most of her teachers discouraged her. But there was one person, Ron Forbes, who encouraged her to pursue music. He played two tunes on drum, on high note and on low note and suggested Evelyn to feel the tunes. She could feel the higher tune on her waist up. She could feel the low tune in the lower part of her body. At the age of 16, she uh, she moved with the youth orchestra and she decided to per pursue her dream at royal academies at royal academies 3 year course in her third year, she had achieved most of the top awards. And in, despite of her busy schedule, she used to spend some time giving lessons in music in prison and hospitals. She says she faces problem with the men with bushy beards because she is unable to see the expressions and movement of the lips. And she says that she can feel the sound, the vibrations of music while playing xylophone into the sticks. And she becomes a motivation, an inspiration for all the deaf children. In 1991, she had achieved Royal Philharmonic Society's prestigious award, prestigious soloist award. And one person there is who says it's James Blade says 
God, God may have taken her fearing, but he has given her something extraordinary. And she becomes an inspiration for all the physically disabled children. They feel that if Glenn can achieve this much, then why can't they? There is no any profession, there is nothing which they cannot achieve. They can achieve all their dreams. Now let's start our question answer discussion. Our first question is how old was Evelyn when she went to the Royal Academy of Music? Page 20, thinking about the text, first question I am discussing, how old was Evelyn when she went to Royal Academy of Music? She was 17 years old. Evelyn was 17 years old when she went to Royal Academy of Music in London. Second question, when was her deafness first noticed and when was it confirmed? I told you that Evelyn's deafness was first noticed at the age of 8 when she was called for her performance but she didn't perform but she did not respond to that at and at the age of 11 her deafness was confirmed by a specialist right next second part answer each of these question in a short paragraph 30 to 40 words who helped her to continue with music? What did he do and say? I hope you know. Yes, Ron Forbes, a percussionist, helped Evelyn to continue with music. He began by tuning two large drums to different notes. He told Evelyn that Instead of listening through her hear, her ears, she should try to sense it some other way. Yes, he suggested Evelyn that Evelyn should try to sense the music in some other manner. And she did the same thing. She felt the music, the high tune, on upper waist and the low tunes in the lower part of her body or waist down. Next question, name the various causes for which Evelyn performs. Also name the places. Yes, I told you that she has performed worldwide, right? Evelyn performs worldwide in regular concerts. Besides her busy schedule, she also gave concerts in prisons and hospitals. And she gives the high priority to the young musicians. Right? Let's move on to the next question. Let's answer the question in two or three paragraphs. It's a long answer type question. How does Evelyn hear music? It has been told to you people that she was not born deaf. Evelyn was not born deaf. She was a normal kid. At the age of 11, her deafness was confirmed by a specialist. But her handicap did not stop her from achieving her goal, from leading a normal life. And she became one of the greatest percussionists in the world. When she was being 
discouraged by her teachers a percussionist ron forbes encouraged her to feel the music in some other manner so she started hearing yes she started feeling the vibrations the vibration of music the sound in different parts of her body for example initially she felt the higher notes of drums on upper waist and low notes of drum on waist down right then she tells that when she plays piano sorry uh, xylophone she can feel the vibrations of music in those sticks and then she says when she beats the drum she could feel the sound of drum in her body she could feel she had learned and rather she had made up her mind and body to feel the sound in the body she says that uh, whenever she performs on the wooden platform she removes her shoes and stands barefoot to feel the vibrations there on the wooden platform she says that her whole body is sensitive to the music and its vibrations and she can feel the music in her body in her skin in her cheekbones rather in her hair too so i hope this question is clear to you the answer is clear to you i hope these question answers are clear to you you have to do all these answers in your notebook in my next video i'll be discussing part 2 right part 2 of this unit the part 2 is ustad bismillah khan right in next video i will be discussing about ustad bismillah khan's music till then do complete your work we'll meet in our next video